Happy Monday. I have to pick on some of my colleagues this week. Uh, specifically, I need to talk about headline writers. I'm a little concerned because we're having this issue these days where headline writers think that they have to really grab the reader's attention and uh, they kind of go overboard on the whole deal. The thing is that a lot of people just read headlines these days. So they get the, a mistaken impression. I'm talking partially at least about the water issues. You know, we've been dealing with this for a couple of years now. And everybody talked about the great and wonderful, most powerful El Nino to ever come down the pike. And there was lots of headlines saying El Nino is going to save the Southern California from the drought. And then it got here and it started raining in Northern California. It started snowing in Northern California. That's all good. Very good. We're glad for that. But we didn't get any rain down here. And everybody thinks, hey, we must be out of the drought now because the newspaper said so. They're wrong. We're not out of a drought. Well, just yesterday, saw another really great headline. El Nino gone, La Nino coming. Drought returns. What are you going to do? You know, it, that whole idea of forecasting La Nina is three months out at the very least. Six months is more likely. Yeah, we have drought issues. Yeah, we need to change the way that we use water. It needs to be a change in the way that we use water all the time. It doesn't matter whether it's El Nino or La Nina. We have to stop using so much water. That's it. Simple as that. Then a little closer to home, I have to kind of take issue with a couple of headlines after the election. Several of the outlets around the city apparently don't really understand what goes on in our primary and general elections. The Daily Newspaper had a headline two days after the election saying, Pierce takes second district. Well, she got the most votes in the second district, that's right. But she isn't the second district council person yet. She has to go through a runoff with Eric Gray. The two of them had the most votes. And yes, Janine Pierce had more votes than Eric Gray. But no, she didn't take the second district. If she's going to do that, that'll happen on June 7th. So I guess the thing that you can do about this is actually read the story. Because the story under those headlines, involving the drought, involving the election, had it right. The reporters knew what they were talking about. But it's up to you to actually read the whole story or listen to the old whole story or whatever it takes. Don't just read the headlines. And you headline writers out there, read the whole story too, okay? Let's try to get it right. What do you think about it? Make your comment right there below. You know how to do it by now. Thanks.